Great. So how, how much were you out of pocket roughly with uh, Anastasia? Uh, about $9,000. If you could rewind the clock and do it all over again, go back to day one, sure. what would you do differently? Good morning, Jason. Good morning. How you doing? Fantastic. <laughs> I love your answer. So we're in here in Kiev sitting, uh, talking about your experience in Ukraine. Yes. So you happy? I'm very happy. <clears throat> Why are you happy? Um, it's been a great experience for me. Um, I found somebody that I care for. Yeah. Um, it's just been, uh, been a great trip. Very cool. And yeah, thanks for sharing this with this experience with the world here. You know, you've been on this journey for how long? And maybe give us an idea of, of your journey and what was not successful, what didn't yeah. work, and what was successful. That'd be great. So I got the, uh, the idea of possibly um, meeting somebody here uh, about seven months ago. Um, so what I did is I went on a website, mm -hmm. which um, the first website that came to mind that I, I recognized was Anastasia. I talked to a few girls and then I uh, met one on there that, that uh, um, I thought I had a connection with. We've talked for about six months. Um, I came here once to see her and um, she uh, wasn't able to meet me. And then she promised she would come to see me. So um, she had, she t told me that she had tickets and she was coming to see me a week before she was going to come. She canceled for uh, a reason. Um, and then she told me she had other tickets about um, two months later. That time came and went. She didn't come. So I told her that uh, I didn't want to wait any longer. We'd been talking for six months and that uh, we needed to either see each other or obviously something's not right. Mm -hmm. So I uh, came here again, but she about two weeks before I came, she told me she wasn't going to be able to meet me. So Grandma sick again? Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. So um, when that happened, I looked into other resources and that's how I found you. Great. So how, how much were you out of pocket roughly with uh, Anastasia? Uh, about $9,000. Maybe, uh, well, okay, well, we'll get back into that, but um, maybe uh, compare that experience to when you met Match Guarantee and kind of your experience with us, if you could. So um, well, I met Match Guarantee. I talked to you pretty much immediately and had a very good feeling about it. Um, so I... I uh, Changed my plans, came here, I think it was uh, maybe three weeks after we met, something like this. And uh, it's been a very positive experience for me. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Jason, I'll say, I always say the man of action gets the girl. Yeah. And you really embody that better than I'd say any client so far. Oh. You, I mean, we spoke on Skype, we had your complimentary coaching call, yep. and you're like, yeah, let's do this thing. <laughs> uh, and you came in, what, three weeks? I think so, yeah. About three weeks, yeah. yeah. You did your 10-lady uh, introduction, complimentary. Yes. Met uh, uh, of the 10, how many wanted to meet with you? Eight? I believe it was eight. Eight, yeah, a good number there. Yeah. And you came and uh, maybe give us an idea of your dating experience, uh, what you thought of the ladies, and what was the end result? So the ladies were all great. Um, I found them uh, very sincere, uh, honest, real people. Um, all of them had very good intentions. All of them wanted to have families, um, have children. So that was very nice to see. Um, yeah, it really exceeded my expectations because I was, had a, a very negative um, opinion for a while. <laughs> but uh, Negative opinion on what? Of uh, coming back to Ukraine after, you know. After the two no-shows when you were here alone. Yeah, correct. Uh -huh. yeah. So, um, yeah, all five were, were very good. Um, in fact, they were so good that I, I stopped um, canceled the rest of my, my trip and I was happy with the first five that I, I had uh, a good choice to make at that point. You canceled the rest of your dates. Right. Yeah. 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 Because we talked and you're like, wow, I've met five incredible ladies. How long do I go dating before I settle down yep. here? Right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is a, a tough, uh, <clears throat> it's an important decision, maybe a little bit of a tough one. It is. Uh, but would you say it's really important to your ultimate success, knowing when to stop? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The ladies know what's going on. Right. So if you continue over time to not see them, they, um, they know you're with somebody else. You shoot yourself on the proverbial foot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Eas easily done. Cause these ladies are, 
not like ladies back home. They're quite jealous, quite competitive to yes. get their man. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah they're not going to wait around for you. If, uh, if you don't show interest in them and, and uh, attend to them, then um, they may become upset or not want to see you again. Yeah. Yeah, the truth be told, you can blow up with the, with the Ukraine beauty pretty easily. Uh, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, all of them were very great. All of them, uh, like, if I had more time, I would, uh, would have spent more time with, with all of them. And, and, uh, but I really had a good connection with, with one in particular. Um, and I spent uh, as much time as I, I can with her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Jason, you've been on this journey looking for uh, a wife in Ukraine for seven months, right? Yes. Yeah. So a pretty short journey compared to most guys, <laughs> I find. But if you could rewind the clock and do it all over again, go back to day one, sure. what would you do differently? If I were able to go back, obviously, um, I would do what I'm doing now. Had I found you sooner, I would have uh, gone this route seven months ago and, and been uh, much happier. So how does it compare um, to Match Guarantee? You've come, mm -hmm. uh, maybe just a, a quick synopsis yeah. of your journey. So everything you told me in our first meeting has been true. Um, I appreciate uh, everything you guys have done with the connections, the setting up of the dates, all those things. It's very easy. You show up and you meet the women from your list and you have a little bit of communication beforehand. So, you know a little bit about what to expect, but it's it is very seamless and easy. Yeah, uh, and you've had a great experience. You chose the most beautiful ladies in the database. Had uh, and most of them say yes, they wanted to meet you. And maybe let's talk about that. You mm -hmm. had uh, a lot of choice of beautiful yeah. ladies. Like like any one of the ladies that wanted to pursue you mm -hmm. and have a relationship with you, you probably would have been I'm, I'm sorry to put words in your mouth but OTT ecstatic over the top happy to be with if it was back home but yes. yet you have to choose only one yeah it was a tough decision uh -huh. yeah. maybe a little bit about that and how you chose so we had the initial five meetings and then uh, I, I believe you asked me to, to pitch, pick an additional five in case that five is a backup plan um, and then I, I, I think I, I threw a couple extra in there on you too. So <laughs> we had a we had a big list. Yeah. But I uh, met the first five, and I had more dates scheduled beyond that. But after five, I was really um, overwhelmed. I met uh, you know a, a very very uh, terrific woman, and I decided to cancel the rest of my dates. Mm -hmm. Now uh, I want to ask you a question that is the number one burning question of every, I kid you not, every Ukrainian girl. Yeah. They all have this burning question and they're all super suspicious, not even just at the beginning when they meet you, mm -hmm. but well into the relationship. Trust me on this. Why did you come halfway around the world? Mm. Why did you have to come halfway around the world? This is what they're wondering. Yeah. To meet a woman. Why you can't meet a good woman back in your country? And what they're thinking in the back of their hand, head is, what's wrong with this guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, on this, on, this is my question. Um, yeah, why are you single, you know, at 42, not married, and, and why couldn't you meet somebody back home? Um, Being the devil's advocate, you know, for the Ukraine woman. Yeah, well, I've been asked. Um, of course. Probably from all of them, maybe. Mm -hmm. But uh, so I can get a woman back home. It's uh, not too challenging, um, but the women that I get are not what I want. So I looked, uh, you know, the women here for much different values, um, take care of themselves better, um, better companions, better uh, mothers, wives, those types of things. Mm -hmm. yeah, the women in, in the U.S. are um, more career oriented. Some of them, you know, in the same age group, some of them even say they don't want to have children. Yeah, they're, they're really into uh, themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Themselves, their career. Career's uh, more Correct. important. Yeah, exactly. Than family. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Do you find America is more of a me world and this is more of a we world? Another yes, yeah, every, every uh, conversation is, um, it's never about, uh, you know, me and somebody else, it's, it's always about a family. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think family is extremely important here. Or in the U.S., it's uh, you know, maybe backseat to oneself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And, and what is the uh, opportunity, let's say, to yeah. find 
a good wife to marry and have a family with. What's, what's that opportunity like in America versus Ukraine? Uh, and how much, yeah, let, let's start with that question. So with your help, it's very easy here. All the women I met were um, looking for the same things, mm -hmm. the same things that I'm after. In the U.S., it's uh, much more challenging. You know, women that are in their, let's just say 30 as an example, or, or not, uh, if there's not something, uh, I don't want to say wrong with them, but you know, if there's not something wrong with them, then they're usually married. Mm -hmm. they're, uh, or they're involved in their careers at a level that uh, doesn't allow them to uh, spend time with, the, uh, with their man. Yeah, these women are all real women. They all want uh, relationships. They're not looking to hook up. Yeah. Yeah. I would agree with you. If, if men are coming here uh, to, to get laid, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a use-use situation. I, I, mean, I mean, you're using her for sex, she's going to use you back <laughs> for shopping or whatever she does. Yeah. And, uh, and that can be very costly and very painful too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jason, for sitting and no chatting with me here. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, I wish you all the best in your future. I, I feel very, very positive that you're going to get married to the most amazing woman. And, uh, I will. Yeah. yeah. And you're positive uh, <laughs> yeah. about that too, so yeah, that's great. for sure. That's great. It's been a pleasure working with you. Thank you. you. Thanks yeah. for all your help. Yeah. <laughs>